On today's episode of Junk Wax Genius, it's 1988 Fleer and 1992 Pinnacle Series 2. It's Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where a grown man opens old baseball cards, remembers some guys, and uh, we talk about it. Let's do our 88 Fleer. You get 15 cards and a sticker here, some limited edition inserts, all-stars and stuff like that. I don't know. I thought this was a pretty set when it came out. I liked the use of gradients at the very top, like the background kind of fades out into the white at the very top. Um, hard to find when I was a kid. So I always thought this was kind of a, a special one when I could find it. We've got Roberto Kelly, Tom Henke, Melito Perez, Ricky Horton, Ellis Burks. There's a rookie prospects, major league prospects card for Randy Velarde and Adam Peterson. There's Dave Henderson with the Giants, Al Padrique, Gary Reedus, Harsh Shadow in the background there, nice work, photographer. But see, you know, they his hat goes up above the little background gradient and the background just kind of fades away. I like that, nice touch, especially for the time. Bob Welch, another special card there, the O's Brothers, Billy and Cal, and a insect or something. Al Hall, Terry Kennedy, Mike Scott, again with the harsh background shadow, and Alvin Davis. All right, well, a couple examples of what we call Bowman picks here on the channel, harshly lit, boring, fo uh, boring poses, but what can you do? Mike Scott, an absolute monster in the uh, mid-80s for those Astros. 247 innings. 233 strikeouts in 1986, 306 strikeouts in 275 innings. Just a monster. Unreal. All right, let's move on to the 92 Pinnacle. This is the premier edition of the set by Score. And this is Series 2. We'll take a look at the back wrapper. It, uh, it does tell you what it's made of. So technically, again, not junk wax, but a combination of polyester, polyethylene, and metallized polypropylene. There you go. And then some Rookie Idols insert cards here. 18 cards featuring the top prospects. Are we lucky enough to get one? Let's find out together. Very high-end back in the day and very different from regular score with its colorful borders. Pinnacle, just black. There's Cliff Brantley, one of the Rookie prospects. Moises Alou, another one. The Idols. Who do we have there? Catfish Hunter and Scott Sanderson. Okay, Scott Sanderson, worthy of uh, an insert card there, I guess. Pinnacle Shades. Nice, Eric Davis looking good in his Oakleys. I like that, bring those back guys. Bring back those M-frame Oakleys, come on. Uh, nice Ryan Sandberg card here. This is um, the Blueprint Technician cards. Ryan Sandberg, the infield technician. Heads up, two hands, arms relaxed, knees bent. Charge the ball, though. Don't let it, don't wait for it to come to you. Ryan Sandberg, nice. Put that one aside. Mark Guthrie, Dante Bichette with the Brewers, Mike McFarlane, Bob Ojeda, Brian Holman, Eric Anthony, Mariano Duncan, there's Charles Nagy, Dave Martinez, Keith Miller, and again, Tom Henke. Hey, how about that? Cardception, or not Cardception, uh, double header. That's where we get the same player out of two different packs. Tom Henke out of our pinnacle, and we got him also in, uh, didn't we? Let's, let's go through, let's review. There he is, I knew it, 88 Fleer. In our 92 Pinnacle, Tom Henke. All right. It's Junk Wax Genius, the channel on YouTube where we open old baseball cards, remember some guys. And uh, we do two packs a day, minimum. There may be more. The Terminator? Really? His nickname was The Terminator? I guess, you know, 6'5", 225. That's intimidating. That's a big dude. All right. All right. Tom uh, Henke and John Olerud join the club of Blue Jays players who are taller than you would have thought. I didn't know he was 6'5". We learned something new today. Thanks for watching Junk Wax Genius. We'll see you tomorrow.